Friends, you may be seeing an article floating around the internet about somebody who was able to take the SSD that comes in the Seagate expansion card for the Xbox Series X and then convert it to a CF Express to NVMe adapter. It's actually a pretty cool little adjustment because it means that you could potentially open up to allow for other SSDs to be used on the Xbox Series X and be a bit more expansive like the PlayStation 5 is. However, in all the coverage that I've seen of this, people were saying we don't know if it works with other SSDs because it has to be PCI. Express 4.0, and what the modder did was take the Seagate card, open that up, take the SSD out of that, and then put it to the expansion card. So essentially, it's using the same SSD that's supposed to be the expansion card and recognizing it. And so, since I have several PCI Express 4.0 drives lying around that I could potentially be using in this, and it was easy enough for me to pick up a CF Express to NVMe adapter so that I could actually test this out, I thought that I would go ahead and check out whether or not we could potentially get something like this the Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus or the Samsung 980 Pro to work on the Xbox Series X. This is just going to be an exercise in checking it out, seeing if it works, especially since all the coverage that I saw of it, nobody actually had the method to test it. So I'm actually using what is essentially the same CF Express adapter. It's just a bit longer and then it has an actual full size M.2 on the end so that we could check it out with these drives. And then because I'm really curious. I've been working on a PlayStation 5 video where I'm going to be using a M.2 to PCI Express adapter that I've actually gotten working. That video will be coming out soon. I want to see if the SSDs work, can we then also use this M.2 to PCI Express adapter to put in something like this WD Black RAID card that could potentially make it even more expansive than it otherwise is? Obviously, I'm not expecting regular people to go out and do this, but I do want to see, does it work? How well does it work? And has Microsoft locked down the Series X to be only working with that specific Seagate hard drive? But before we jump into that, I've got two housekeeping notes. Number one, UFD is now hiring. In case you want to work for us, I'm looking for a channel coordinator. Link for the job application we linked in the video description. It is an in-office position, but I would love to have you in case you're interested, so check it out down below. Number two, since I'm sure a lot of people are going to ask, this is a portable monitor that is affixed atop the Xbox Series X. It's actually really cool. I'm doing a dedicated video on it sometime soon, but it's by G-Story. Link for this is in the video description. So without further ado, let's go ahead and put the M.2 SSD into this adapter and get started to see whether or not it works. Okay, so first off, as a control, just to see if anything even gets powered on. I'm gonna put in this V-Color SSD to see if the RGB lights actually even turn on here, and that way we know that the power is being delivered from the CF Express card. So let's go ahead and check that out. Now all I have to do is take this CF Express adapter that I picked up on Amazon, which will be linked in the video description, and then slide it into the back slot, which has the NVMe SSD. Now we are getting blinking power status on this SSD right here, and we'll just have to wait a second to see. The RGBs do turn on. We have it RGB added to my Xbox Series X, therefore I win. Anything else I do in this video is just going to be an added gravy. So we're not seeing any internal storage added, again, because this has no storage on it. It's simply just an RGB add-on card, but it does work. So I'm going to unplug it before we in include another SSD, but let's go ahead and try it with the Samsung 980 Pro. Now there is some speculation as to why the SSD such as the 980 Pro might not work, and that's because the SSD that's being used in the expansion card is a PCI Express 4.0 drive, but only with two PCI Express lanes, whereas all of these drives are with four PCI Express lanes. However, the thought might be that this adapter card might step it down so that it only gets read as two lanes, and we'll just go ahead and have to see. So let's start with the moment of truth. Let me plug it in back here. Do we get the power? We do get the status light. And there you have it. Use an Xbox storage expansion card. The attached card is not supported with the error code of 0 by 8082013. So that's uh, an official statement right there. The 980 Pro doesn't work. However, I will test it with a couple others to see just in case maybe it's a fluke with the 980. So next I have the Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus. Let's go ahead and check that out, see if it works. And yes, saying the attached card is not supported. So that's 0 for 2. And just for craps and giggles, we'll try a Samsung 970 Evo Plus. The NVMe drive that goes into the Series X is supposed to be PCI Express 4.0. This is a 3.0 drive. Let's see if it makes any difference whatsoever. That is light is is on so technically it is being registered but it's not even showing up here so the PCI Express 4.0 drives absolutely show up the 3.0 drive 
not not even being registered on the Xbox menu. It's actually really intriguing. Okay, and just for craps and giggles, since I've come this far to even try it out in the first place, I bought the CFX Express adapter. I need to see this for myself. We have the PCI Express 4.0 M.2 to full length PCI Express adapter, which is then on a PCI Express to M.2 adapter that has to be SATA powered. So we're gonna check and see if this works. Obviously, this is a bit ridiculous. Nobody should ever consider doing this, but I do wanna see if we could get anything to work here. Go ahead and put a 980 Pro on here just to get that going. I have a spare power supply down here, which has a jumper cable on the 24 pin motherboard power. Go ahead and plug in the SATA for the expansion card. And just as a spoiler for the upcoming video, I know this works. Um, I'm not gonna tell you how well it works, but I know it works on the PlayStation. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch the power supply on which is now providing power to this adapter card right here. And now once we plug in the CF Express, hopefully that provides power to the other thing and nothing explodes is kind of what I'm going for. Let's just see if anything starts registering. The SSD is getting warm, so it's technically receiving power, but the status light is on on this adapter card, but again, it's not reading anything on here. So uh, we're gonna call that a loss at this point, not quite working. I've gone deep down this rabbit hole of trying to figure out what works on the P PS5, so trying to see what works on the Xbox Series X. I've got this Western Digital Black RAID add-in card. This is PCI Express 3.0, I believe. I don't think it's 4.0. And we'll just go ahead and see if that works at all when it gets plugged in. It, the RGB does turn on, so the power clearly clearly is being delivered to this card uh, from the PCI Express slot. If I unplug it, that does turn off the power. Okay, so we are getting something from the Xbox Series X. So plugging in the CFast Express, then turns the RGB back on, but again, nothing registering here on the storage device, which I wonder if maybe we broke this. I'm gonna try to put in the 980 Pro again and see if we get the error message popping back up. Okay, 980 Pro, slot it back in, CF Express card going back in. Yes, still an error message. Okay, everything still works, um, but it's very clear that if you are going to do this, you still need to use Microsoft's official SSD in case you somehow break the housing. I guess that's the update here. You can reuse an adapter card to get the SSD that's currently inside that Seagate expansion card and then plop it in an adapter like this and it should still work. However, because this is not an Xbox storage expansion card, we might be able to, in the future, if somebody actually wants to develop this, get some firmware flashed onto the SSD and can be supported by the Xbox Series operating system. But for as it stands right now, you can only use the official Microsoft ones. You can't use other PCI Express 4.0. I know that this is kind of a lackluster ending, but somebody had to do it, especially as I was seeing just reports all across the internet that this is really cool, but we don't know if it works with other SSDs. As far as I can tell, based on the two different PCI Express 4.0 SSDs that I know work in my PS5, they do not work in the Series X, which in a way makes Microsoft a little bit worse off than Sony since you have more options when it comes to the PS5, but obviously Microsoft does make it a lot easier for just plugging and unplugging in the back rather than having to pop open all of the side panels. In case you wanna know more about what SSDs are compatible with the PS5, we have a PS5 SSD buyer's guide video that I did right over there. Don't forget that UFD Media is hiring. I would love to have you Apply down below at the link in the video description. Links for everything that I talked about in today's video will be down there as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next UFD Tech video, my friends. Cheers.